it's your brother Alan Radine saying thank God it's Friday and welcoming you to the really really knowing God channel as I bring you vital enrichment in the knowledge of God or powered by the Pastor Alan Radine Center for H Inspiration the PLACE <music> This is the Daily Gem Devotional, making you a gem to your generation and a gem son upon the crown of Jesus Christ. We are sharing truth this morning on harmless bits of hypocrisy, coming from Luke chapter 12, 1 through 7. Shall we pray? together father in heaven we bless your name of god give you glory and honor and praise we thank you for your help to us here at all times oh god will receive that help again here today in the name of jesus christ we will not be here as alone but do us also of your word thank you in jesus name we pray amen amen hallelujah if, um luke chapter 12 <clears throat> in the meantime when an innumerable multitude of people are gathered together so that they trampled one upon another, he began to say to his disciples, first of all, Beware of the leaven of the Pharisees, which is hypocrisy. For there is nothing covered which will not be revealed, nor hidden which will not be known. Therefore, whatever you have spoken in the dark will be heard in the light, and what you have spoken in the air in the inner rooms will be proclaimed upon the housetops. <clears throat> and I say unto you, my friends, do not be afraid of those who kill the body. And after that, had no more that they can do. But I will show you whom to fear. Fear him who, after he has killed, has power to cast into hell. Yea, I say unto him, fear him. Are not five sparrows sold for two copper coins? And one of them is, not one of them is forgotten before God. But the very years of your head are all numbered. Do not fear, therefore, you are of more value than many sparrows. Okay. <clears throat> so plenty of people followed him to hear him to, to teach and all that. Now he began to say to his disciples, Beware of the leaven of the Pharisees, which is hypocrisy. A leaven was something like a, a yeast, you know, something that was used to make a dough to swell. So, well, causes a little bit of uh, fermentation naturally inside and brings about uh, pockets of gas, causing that whole thing to swell. But then we don't use that language for it. Um, <clears throat> But that's what he does, really. Um, <clears throat> so he says a little, uh, the leaven of the Pharisees. The leaven here represents something very small, but when you introduce it, it can create, um, what do I call it now, some illusion. It can create what looks bigger, you know, it can make things look bigger than they really are, okay? can make things bigger than they really are and all that. But you see, the other aspect of the leaven is this, it spreads fast. You only need a little bit of it. It has a way of multiplying so rapidly that it will just go through the whole um, um, quantity of dough. What you, well, what you put and where you put is a very localized area and very, very tiny bit, but it will go through the whole thing. I remember that we did some experiments in secondary school in that regard and we were looking at uh, the rate of multiplication under the microscope and all that. So it will just spread, right, the whole place and, and, and cause... Uh, issue so jesus was saying beware of the leaven of the pharisees which is hypocrisy in other words he was teaching us a very very big lesson that hypocrisy has a way of coming in as something very small but before you know it it permeates your entire life and your whole life will becomes one big fake that's the thing that Jesus said, beware of the leaven. He could have used any other metaphor or any other thing to represent it, but he used leaven because these people, they knew what leaven, you know, does. Number one, it creates a, a, a different impression. And that's what people, who, you know, who are hypocrites, that's what they do. They want to create a different impression, a more favorable impression, okay? But what brings about that thing Believe me, it's a little bit of fermentation. It's a little bit of rottening. That is, a, we just want. To, we don't want to use that, you know, um, description or that language for it. But that's the truth about the matter. And that's what happens with hypocrisy. Yeah, that's the way hypocrisy can come in and look like it's only very small. It's only very, very, you know, it's harmless. It won't do. It won't do much damage. It's just a little bit of hypocrisy, you know, <laughs> here or there, and all that. That's that's the way we don't say so. But that is what our actions or our attitude or our stand, that's what it implies, that's what it says. You know, it's only a little bit. You know, that little is harmless. But Jesus was saying that harmless as the leaven is, beware of it. Because it can make your whole life 
become one big fake. The, another thing about hypocrisy is that you begin small, or it begins small, and then you begin to, um, I don't want to say, oh, well, you get bigger on it. Okay, that's fair enough. You get bigger on it. If you, you know, exercise yourself in a little bit of hypocrisy this time around, the next time around, it increases a little bit. And, you know, you are just getting used to it. You know, uh, like people say, toads get used to when you are increasing the temperature of, of a bath. I, I don't know how, how true that whole thing is, but that's where you get used to this thing, small, small. And it gets bigger. It gets bigger in your life until you find your, it's such that your life is, is almost like you cannot do without uh, creating some impression of what is really not there at times it's a facade you know and all that different you know ways in which it manifests itself but hypocrisy is hypocrisy it begins as a normal small harmless looking thing but it can result into that's why jesus warned the disciples that this is the problem of these pharisees okay let's go on it says beware for there's nothing covered which will not be uh, uncovered or hidden which would not be known i should say something about that one very quickly being a pastor now this is not to say every secret of yours in this life will be exposed that's not what he's saying there because it's, it's, it's linked with the matter of hypocrisy i'm a pastor i have a lot of things um in confidence and they will never come out so that one it shows you that this scripture is that's not what you're saying about the scripture what it's saying in this scripture is every every dissection um in the name of hypocrisy or in the purpose of hypocrisy everything you cover every lie every yeah deception is the right word okay <clears throat> every bit of uh, faking <laughs> that you put in place that is hypocritical will eventually be exposed that's what so don't get into it at all that's what jesus is trying to say just be true just be true be plain be transparent be yourself okay that's it so he went on to say uh, um uh, what to say in the inner rooms and i say unto you my friends don't be afraid of those who kill the body and after that you don't have anything they can do but i will tell you who to fear fear god because he's the one that can kill as well as cast into hell then he went on to talk about uh, uh sparrows and the hair of your head being numbered and all that so let's talk about that very very quickly he is linking these two things together Many times, what makes people get into hypocrisy is the opinion of others. Is the opinion of other people, how they look at me, what they feel about me. Those are the things that make us get into hypocrisy. And you know, I talk about hypocrisy all the time, you know, because of the way our people are here. We are really into it. You know, you paint the outside and paint the living room and then all the other rooms are not painted. You know, all kinds of things that we do that uh, smack of hypocrisy. It's about how the other person views me my image in the eyes of these other people the way i look the way they perceive me that that's why jesus came you know and said these things do not fear what anybody can do not only in terms of their thinking what they can do some people if they know so so and so about you they can go to town if they, if they know so so and so about you they can use it against you if they understand so so and so about you know that is what makes people to fear the bible says do not fear anybody that's what he says amen in um in psalm 27 uh, i'm sorry our time is really fast spent but let me just you know say something about psalm 20 i like that psalm i've created a song out of it some of you who know me back back then you know that i have a song the lord is my light and my salvation psalm one whom shall i fear the lord is the strength of my life of whom shall i be afraid you know you, you can go on and go on and go on another one uh is in hebrews we're going to get there you know we are in hebrews right now we're going to get there uh very very soon it says um uh, so we can boldly say the lord is my helper i will not fear what man can do unto me yeah if i know they can there's a way they can use information against me i'm aware i know they can use if they see so so and so about me i'm aware you know but you see come to a place where you say to yourself god is the one that takes care of my image management god is the one that will package me okay and just do not do hypocrisy don't join them just be you okay and let them be them God help us in Jesus' name. Finally, spoke about uh, five sparrows and then the very, the very ears of your head are all numbered. I like that thing. Why? It's saying, 
even where you have a problem in the most uh, hidden aspect of your body or your life, God knows about it. When that's why I say the hairs of your head are numbered. Oh, that's a rash. You have a rash, but that rash is somewhere where people cannot see. God sees that rash and he will help you with it. Or certain aspects of your life, you know, you can't even tell anybody. I mean, the shame of it is too much. God can see it, you know, and he can do something about it. That's the meaning of all the hairs of your head are numbered. Nothing will happen to you as long as you count upon God and let God be the one to sort you out thank you very much for sharing time with us today um one more time thank god it's friday